Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox, take a close-up look and power on the Daewoo Halogen Air Fryer. So let's just take a look around the outside of the box. So this is the Daewoo Halogen Air Fryer. It has a 17 litre cooking capacity with the use of the included 5 litre extender ring. And here are some of its features and specifications. So it does have a 1300 watt output and also temperature control as well as a two year warranty. Now let's go ahead and open up the box by of course cutting apart. The sticky tape that's keeping the box securely sealed and just popping up the box flaps and taking a look directly into the box right there and now let's go ahead and pop the contents out and set them on the tabletop so just bear with me I might struggle a bit given that there is a camcorder and tripod in the way and let's see okay so that's the top of the halogen air fryer so I'm just gonna set that down on the side right there removing the styrofoam insert and making sure nothing is stuck under the insert and then these are the rest of the parts for the Daewoo halogen air fryer and let's continue to remove the contents so let's remove the bowl entirely so there is the main bowl here as you can see and let's shift that back be careful not to tip that over the edge of the table and just so I can show you the rest of the contents in the box right here okay so that's the base with the handles and there appears to be a spray can as well popping that out and we don't quite need the cardboard packing sleeve I'm just going to set that in the middle and just checking to make sure nothing else is left behind so that's the box emptied as you can see we're going to set that to the side so setting that on the right hand side right there as I make some rearrangements as best I can with my outstretched arms. Okay, so there we are. So we've got pretty much everything in view, hopefully. Okay. So the spray bottle right there. Did say spray can earlier, but it is a spray bottle. And of course, this is the UK version, so it comes with a three pin UK plug. And that's the main bowl, which is made out of glass. It is not microwave or uh, freezer safe or dishwasher safe, so bear that in mind. And this is the stand for the lid or the upper part. So plenty of things to spread around here, and we have quite a small table given the amount of accessories in here or the size of the accessories so there is a plastic bag here with some items in it so there are some racks let's remove them and there is a set of tongs as well so be very careful to recycle and keep the bag away from babies and toddlers and children of course so that's the tongue, as you can see, to remove the racks when they're set in the bowl. And just continuing with the removal of the rest of the contents. So there is a user manual, it appears. Let's set that down and continue. So there are 
a couple of mesh baskets here. And once again, that bag is recyclable. So make sure you recycle them and keep them away from babies, toddlers and children. So right here, two mesh baskets, giving you an idea of the depth as well. Very quickly, we might take a closer in look in a moment. And there is what appears to be a wine voucher here. So anybody who wants to use it, feel free to do so. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside somewhere, right hand side of the frame. And so that's the entire content. So I think the best way about this is to take a close up look at the base first and we can st start stacking them all together because they seem quite far spread out at the moment. So there's not too much detail um, the way it is at the moment. So let's start off by taking a look at the base, so the base has a set of carry handles, as you can see, right there, pretty light in weight and construction. There is a, uh, let's, of course, there is, this is the extender ring or extension ring. Let's lift the extension ring out. So it's just there because it's packed for transport purposes or shipping purposes right there. So the extender ring gives an extra five liters of cooking capacity, making a total of 17 liters. So 12 liters using just that glass base. And if you pop that extender ring onto the bowl, that gives you another, um, another five liters, making it 17 liters. So 12 liters and another five liters with the extender ring. And over here, now we can focus just on the base itself with the carry handle. So very lightweight plastic base and fairly sturdy. I'm applying a bit of pressure or somewhat medium amount of pressure trying to twist it. And you can see it just stays pretty rigid. And the bumpers here, some, I trust they are silicone bumpers. These little bumps that will minimize any vibration transfer to your tabletop or countertop. And of course, some more bumpers on these sides as well by the handles. So right there, giving you a look at the base with the carry handles on the side. Okay, so that's the base with its carry handles. Now we can set them all together. Let me set the extender ring to the side. And now, wow, you can see the bowl, which makes the main cooking part of the Daewoo halogen air fryer. It's right there. You can see they are concentric circles on the inside. However, the texture is on the outside. It's completely smooth. As you can hear me scraping my fingernails across the surface, just making sure that those ridges and concentric circles are actually on the outside of the bowl. So it's not going to trap any food particles or residue. Okay, so right there, giving you a look all around. So remember, this isn't dishwasher safe or freezer safe. So giving you a look right there and the thickness of the glass bowl. It's right there. A nice big size. Okay. And just setting the bowl neatly on the base with the carry handles on the side. So you can see right there, very, very sturdy and convenient. Will not tip out, thankfully. So right there. And now let's slip on the extender ring. So you can see this extender ring right here. 
stainless steel and of course it does get hot so there is a silicone ring or sleeve around it as you can see right there and giving you a look as to the edges and thickness of this extender ring or extension ring so okay so let's just pop that on right there so nothing too complicated just a ring that just sits on top of the glass bowl okay so moving on to the next item um, let's pop the top of the Daewoo halogen air fryer on top of it all so once again it's got a clear plastic bag make sure that's recycled or disposed of ecologically and keeping oh, it away from children toddlers and babies so looking now at the top of this Daewoo halogen air fryer you can see there are there's a graphic there with some guidance going to move in even closer there so you can see right there as to the reference or guide into the settings for various meats or food types and over here you have the controls on the left the timer and on the right the thermostat or temperature control and the bottom we do have the power indicator status light on the left and the heat status indicator light on the right with the green and of course they will branding and some warning instructions or care instructions okay so there we have it simple controls with the time so you can set it all the way up to 60 minutes and you can hear the timer ticking away right there and of course if you need to turn it off simply advance it turning it counterclockwise and you can hear that ding or chime of the bell or ringer and of course there is the temperature control obviously it's not plugged in and you don't want to be handling it like this with it plugged in so the temperature range for the temperature control or thermostat for this halogen air fryer is from 65 degrees all the way up to 250 degrees celsius or centigrade so quite a high maximum temperature which would come in very useful and you want to set it before you start cooking to the maximum temperature for three minutes and then setting it to the required temperature so that's the preheating kind of instructions that go with this Daewoo halogen air fryer and of course you want to make sure you wash all the parts barring the main halogen induction fan unit and just taking a look at the on the side as well so right there you can see the holes and what appears to be a fan blade sitting just behind it okay so that's the top lid of the Daewoo halogen air fryer and just giving you close-up look to the details here on this label some specifications and some more safety or usage guidance notes and right there giving you an all-round look at this Daewoo halogen air fryer with the 1300 power output so they're giving you 
pop all around and look at the size of this lid for the Daewoo Halogen Air Fryer. Okay, so it seems everything is nice and sturdy. So the lid, there is, of course, a lid stand as well. But before I do that, let's have a more thorough look. There is a handle that lifts the lid up of the air fryer. And of course, some warning labels there. Hot surface, as pretty much every part of this air fryer will be hot when turned on. Okay, so the handle right there does have a safety feature, so you need to click it down in order for the air fryer to work because there is a safety pin there or switch. So right there you can hear that click. And of course, quite importantly, is the length of the power cable. So let's take a look at the power cable. Let's set this down, making sure that that extension ring is properly set. And right there, it is fairly sturdy. It's not really going to go anywhere as long as the surface that the air fryer is resting on is stable. Okay, so let's undo this cable tie so you can have a look as to the length of the power cable or lead and giving you a look close up at the three, three pin plug and of course the specifications as well should you require some of that technical data. Okay, so there we have it, the three pin plug. Let's remove the protective cap and set it down. And giving you, of course, a look at the length of the cable for this Daewoo halogen air fryer. So right there, it's a little bit on the short side, not too long, medium to long or medium to short length. So it's going to be situated quite closely to a power outlet, of course. So setting that down and let's move that spray bottle closer up so we can have a look at the spray bottle so giving you a look so this is where you'd fill with your cooking oil should you need to use any cooking oil and just spritz it or spray onto your food to give it that extra bit of crispiness okay so feels nice and solid that glass is rather thick you can feel the weight of it just from handling it And let's open it up so it does have a twist lid right there. And take a look into the bottle so make sure you wash all these accessories and parts barring the lid with the motor and fan and of course the lamp. So keep those parts away from water. Okay, so there spray bottle with its cap right there pretty cool looking spray bottle for using to spray oil onto your cooking okay so that's that I'll actually just give you some idea of the size of the bottle resting in the palm of my hand pretty much okay and of course let's turn it around so this has a full 17 liter capacity for cooking with the 5 liter extension ring in place so right there 
giving you some idea as to the maximum cooking capacity of this Daewoo halogen air fryer. And of course now taking a look at these items here, let's have a flip through of what appears to be the user manual for this Daewoo halogen air fryer. Okay, so it's nice to know that the air fryer comes with a two-year warranty and those are some of the instructions and guidance notes and diagram of the parts and accessories and usage instructions as you can see so you can use it for thaw as well as heat food so the temperature range is from 65 degrees all the way up to a maximum of 250 degrees celsius so right there is the entire user manual for the Daewoo halogen air fryer and of course the time setting also with a maximum setting of an hour or 60 minutes so right there just making some slight adjustments to the background. Okay, I'm just going to move that around the spray bottle on the left-hand side of the frame. And taking a look at the baskets now. So, going to be a bit fiddly because I have to reach and there's not plenty of space around the tabletop. So, let me do some bit of rearrangements. Okay, so... Let's pop the lid off once again. So the lid with the induction fan and lamp. Setting that down. And then now we can take a look at these parts. I'm going to take the ring off so you can see more clearly what's going on in the bowl as I set these baskets and trays in there. So there is a basket here, as you can see, mesh basket. And that can go in there, you need to set your food down all the way to the bottom. So you can use it for baking as well as all kinds of manners of cooking, frying as well. So frying obviously you might want to do a bit more wrapping on some of these parts. So there are two baskets, you don't really need to use two at the same time. So let's put that extra basket to the side and you have Two racks so there is a low rack and a higher rack so low and tall racks as you can see they have different leg lengths and in terms of the spacing they both have the same spacing on their cooking surface but the legs are vastly different in height so let's pop that basket out and now giving you a look so you have a good idea right there as to the height and should you want to incorporate the basket you can right there but just giving you a look at how or where that rack stands so that is the tall rack and with the lower one which is about a third of the height of the tall rack might as well just lift the entire unit up so giving you a look right there where it sits in relation to the overall height or depth of the bowl okay so there we go so hopefully nice good look there and the tong bit of a funny one but i guess that's where it comes in handy once you've cooked your food and you can use the tong to kind of lift the rack and your food out from it 
And lastly, over here, we have what is the lid stand. So let's play around with this one. Just going to make some space or room. Let's Okay, bit of a juggling act as always, when space is a premium. Okay, so that's there. And what are we doing? So we're going to show you, let's see, let's see how this works. So this is the lid stand. And what we want to do, since we don't want to make sure that the lid doesn't really touch the table surface, so you simply set there we go so that is the lid stand for the Daewoo halogen air fryer so simply pretty nice and sturdy so the lid just rests kind of upside down with the inside facing out just like that like that you can use it for your as your vanity mirror as well should you run out of mirrors to admire your own beauty so right there or if you are in need of an extra satellite dish or reception for your mobile phone you can use it as such so right there giving you a good look at the stand for this Daewoo halogen air fryer and that's where the lid goes on so simply sliding or slotting the lid right there into the stand so nothing too complicated if, just in case you're wondering what that piece of frame is about that is the stand For the lid to the Daewoo halogen air fryer okay so that's all that let's finally plug it in and turn it on just to see what it's like okay I'm not going to use the extender ring for now or at least for this demo I don't think there is a real need for that just so you can see entirely what's going on with everything in the picture right here in the frame so let's plug the plug into the extension as in into a power outlet so let me plug it in and let's see what happens okay and flipping the switch on so right now power is going into the unit obviously it's not turned on yet However, just taking a look and doing a bit of reshuffling here with some of the parts. So plenty of items to deal with on this very small tabletop for... Oh. As I mentioned, make sure you wash the accessories and the bowl before you start to do any cooking and of course with the pre-cooking instructions to set the maximum temperature to 250 degrees which is of course the maximum and just giving you a look all together now as it is right here the halogen air fryer from Daewoo with a 1700 watt output so it does have that timer on the left and the thermostat or temperature control on the right okay so now let's turn it on so setting the temperature already at the maximum setting at 250 and you can see instantly it lights up and I can feel the heat instantly as well so pretty warm already of course you don't really want to be touching it anymore as it heats up instantly and you can see the lights there we have the power indicator as well as the heat indicator on the right 
and I can smell some fumes of course before you cook your first few dishes make sure you heat up the air fryer for a few rounds just so some of the manufacturing residue can be dissipated and dispersed into your atmosphere instead of your food. So really you shouldn't be touching any part of the air fryer at all when it is working because the surfaces are very very or can get extremely hot. So just giving you an idea of the kind of noise level that it generates as well as you can hear. The timer ticking away and the air fryer heating up the bowl. Okay, so you can see both lights on, so power is being supplied and it's functioning and the heat is being provided for cooking. So if you set it at a lower temperature, it will cut off and just to maintain the temperature. So obviously it's waiting for the temperature to drop before it reheats and maintains the new and lower setting which I've just turned it down to about 175 and there we go it's kicked back in and it will maintain that level of heat so with the timer it does have a maximum setting of 60 minutes right there and let's turn it all the way off right there And I'm just being careful, of course, only handling it by the handles of the base and not touching any of the glass or main body of the air fryer because it gets dangerously hot. And of course, the top handle, let me show you that in just a moment, but before that, actually. So, so with the on switch, I was just trying to turn it to the left to see if it does have a fixed on position but it doesn't so the only way is to always run it by timer so that is a safety feature as well I suppose because you can never leave it on running permanently just in case as a fire hazard okay so right there you can see that it's heated up instantly to the desired temperature so it's cut the heat off and it will of course reheat right there to maintain the new temperature setting and there is a thaw and wash function as well so make sure you refer to the user manual to understand how those features work Thor is self-explanatory but self-cleaning wash that one needs a bit of reading up on okay so there we have it and actually before I turn it all the way down let's test out the handle so right there the handle just make sure that you do not handle or lift the lid when it's turned on so it is a safety feature so you don't use it as a laser gun so right there pressing it down it does turn it back on obviously it was on a low setting so you couldn't see or the power or heat didn't re-engage so right there nice good look and of course just a power on just to show you what it sounds like, how quickly it works and the timer function as well and of course the safety feature once again with the handle making sure that it's fully pressed down so that the halogen air fryer does or can work 
once that handle is lifted or disengaged from the rear switch at the back it does turn off as a safety measure which is good okay so that's that press it back down and turn it off by turning the timer all the way down so that's the Daewoo halogen air fryer thanks for watching and happy cooking